Hello, my name's Gary. I'm uh, 40 years old and uh, I live in a mass. It's Monday morning, and like every other chef, Gary is preparing for the day by taking a delivery of what he needs for the week. Well, I've been a chef for 20 years now, so I've got involved at a young age, and it's, it's a passion for me, so I've had a lot of opportunities in my life, working with some good chefs, working in, all, over the, all, all over the world, really. Gary needs to source fresh ingredients at a good price. Uh, I've just been to Carruthers Wholesalers. It's a lot cheaper now, and it's a lot easier as well for me just to go and get it myself, instead of having a company bring them in and that. Gary uses produce from retailers to supplement the vegetables and herbs grown on site. Salad goes out of every meal, every, like every lunchtime meal. And of an evening, it's always the potatoes and vegetables that go out of a meal. However, Gary is not a regular chef. He lives and works in Emmaus, a community of ex-homeless people. I got involved with Emmaus uh, about two and a half years ago when I was in Brighton. I was working as a chef there and the work sort of got a bit slower so I got involved in doing stuff for the homeless and then uh, I was doing a soup kitchen and I met a few people who were actually in Emmaus and they told me what it was about and then I had a bit of a problem with having somewhere to live so I got into Emmaus permanently. Yeah, I'm an LP Cheers, Emmaus was founded in France in the 1950s by the well known priest, Abbe Pierre. He established communities where homeless people could live and work for Emmaus, developing skills that gave them a sense of purpose that had been lost whilst living on the street. Emmaus Glasgow was opened in 2006 and works as a reuse and recycling business. The Emmaus philosophy continues in the Glasgow community with the aim to grow and help as many as possible. We are like a family, so it's like expanding the family, you know, giving opportunities to people who are homeless to come and live in, a, in an environment where they're going to feel comfortable and safe. And, you know, if they've got issues with drink or drugs, they can get help with it here. You know, that would always be there for them as well, you know, they always have that if they feel they're struggling a bit and have a little relapse, it's not going to be a question of, well, you've done really bad, get out. It's going to be of, look, how can we resolve it? How can we get help you? But drinks and drugs are not the only things jeopardising the community. The companions are at the most risk of suffering from the Glasgow effect, a trend which explains the poor health and low life expectancy of Glaswegians. People in Glasgow live an average of five years less than those nationally and this is most obvious for those living in the most deprivation. With the poorest people having the poorest diets, Gary saw that attitudes and diets needed to change. I thought it was, uh, to be honest, it was chips, chips, sausages, chips, chips, and pies, and yeah, chips near enough every night. With this on his mind, Gary takes a short break before returning to the kitchen to prepare dinner. It's about reducing the fat and sh sugar uh, salt intake and doing it so it's all low fat, low sugar. Like the pastry I'm using is a, is a light puff pastry instead of a normal full fat pastry because it's easier, it's, it's easier to buy than it is to make it. I know it's got like 60% less fat. Gary's efforts since joining Emmaus have not gone unnoticed. At the moment we're going for a healthy living award, so all the products I'm using are all fresh all fresh meats, all fresh vegetables, which I've sourced from local areas. And then due to that, we, we went to a, an assembly in Leicester a few months ago and met Terry Waite. And he's like one of the trustees of like Emmaus. And he noticed that there's an obesity problem in, in Emmaus itself. So he's asked me to get this thing up and running, see how it goes, and then he was gonna come up here, assess it, and see if we can roll it forward for the other Emmauses to get them all eating healthy. And the healthy eating program in the Glasgow community is already reaping its rewards. They seem to be happier because like, a lot of them are actually losing weight. There's a lot more energy about them. There's, not more, there's a lot more positivity coming from them as well because they know that like, they're actually losing the weight and they feel good about it. 
The caring nature of Emmaus ensures that nothing goes to waste and as many people are helped as possible. And usually, if there's any left over weight, like, I have a tension yeah. of keeping it. And then when we have a soup run, I'll, I'll heat it back up, I'll send it out to the soup run, so that they get, like, something hot. This time of year, it's good to send out a stew or something. Something filling, because usually we just do sandwiches. So lately, I've been doing, like, an extra stew, or cooking up an extra curry, an extra large curry, so I can send it out as well. With the Emmaus closed for the day, Gary relaxes by playing pool with the other companions. I've always done things like that, but it's better to actually do it for someone and for someone to appreciate it and not realise that they're trying to... Look, that they, that they, they want to lose weight, but subconsciously I'm helping them lose weight. I've had a good upbringing and I've had a lot of things, opportunities there to do things by, by some good people. It's good to give back a bit, you know, plus with being in a mass now, I have an opportunity to open up a small business in the, in the new year. So we're going to try and look for a coffee shop stroke sandwich bar in Glasgow. Things don't often change in a day, but people can make changes for tomorrow. People like Gary make the difference, and people like Gary make Glasgow.